The FM Red Hawks looking to finish another sweep and stay perfect at home. The Hawks 5-0 in the friendly confines of Newman Outdoor Field, including yesterday's thriller over the Sioux Falls Canaries. These two teams meeting one more time tonight. This game with an eerily similar start to their last matchup. Jabari Henry gets a good hold of this one, blasting it all the way to the left field wall. And it is gone. A two run homer opening up the scoring and putting Sioux Falls up two to nothing early. Henry with his second home run in as many days. The Canaries with a chance to add to that lead here in the top of the third. But pitcher Davis Feldman takes matters into his own hands. First the backhand grab, then running the ground out to first to retire the side. The Red Hawks cutting the lead in half with a home run in the bottom of the third, and they're looking for more here. Neil Lang striking the batter out, swinging though, send both teams back into the dugouts. The Canaries up two to one. But the Red Hawks wouldn't have to wait much longer to tie things up. Sam Dexter bunts, and it's a race to first base. He cannot beat the tag, but Evan Alexander makes his way home from third. Alexander touching all four in his Red, Hawk, in his Red Hawk debut, and we were tied at two. The Canaries storming back though, taking a four to two lead in the eighth inning and never trailing again. The Red Hawks falling at home for the first time this season. They did win two out of three games in their series with the Canaries though. Next up, the Hawks welcome the Lake Country Dockhounds into Newman Outdoor Field. The Minnesota Twins finishing up their home series against the New York Yankees in a battle of the division leaders. The Twins scored all five, all of their runs off of five homers across the first three innings, but were outscored seven to nothing in the following six frames. The Twins get to stay at home as they welcome Tampa Bay into the town for their next series. The Section 8 Lacrosse Championships coming to a head today. The defending champion Moorhead Spuds looking to repeat as they face the top-seeded St. Michael Albertville. It's an ideal start for the reigning champs. Andrew Searles takes the feed from about 10 yards away, shakes past the defender, fires it into the net. The Spuds' leading scorer making this a 1-0 game. It wouldn't take the Spuds long to double that lead. Less than a minute later, Joel Edgardahl scoops up the loose ball and rifles this one through. Moorhead with a 2-0 lead. The Knights would add one of their own, but the Spuds aren't going anywhere. Oliver Judd wins the faceoff and immediately sprints to the goal. Judd weaving through until he finds the back of the net. Moorhead with a 3-1 lead in the first quarter. The Spuds dominate the rest of the way for their second consecutive section title. Next up, a trip to the state championships. And a pair of section baseball championship tournaments continuing today. In the section 8 2A game, the Purim Yellow Jackets survived an 11 game thriller against Rozo. Now, since this is a double elimination tournament, these two teams will meet again for the 2A title tomorrow in Park Rapids. And the Sacred Heart Eagles defeating Ada Borup West in a single A championship. They now get ready for the state tourney next week. In a pair of Bison track and field athletes competing in the national championships tonight. Amy Phillips representing the Bison in the hammer throw. Phillips would score on two out of her three throws, her second being the highest scoring at 215 feet. That was good enough to secure 15th place overall, making her a second team All-American. Her teammate Kari Wolf started her stay in the javelin shortly before we went on the air. Her final throw went for 175 feet. Eight inches. That's her best throw all year. Was good enough to finish in 10th place. Top 10 finish for the Bison in the national championships. That's impressive. Well, very fun to watch. And I don't know how they do it. <laughs> I, I would just get too dizzy I'm in the impressed. hammer throw. Thanks, Devin. <laughs> Stick around.